this is topic six and this is on entrepreneurial development skills so we're going to look into uh, various skills that supposedly to be found in entrepreneur in order to become a good entrepreneur okay. so just to start off uh, to understand that there are many skills uh, that uh, need to be uh, obtained by an entrepreneur especially so with uh, someone new like you and uh, by attending this uh, course uh, and also attending this lecture there could be also skills uh, that you think um, uh, may not be only relevant for an entrepreneur but also for you when you go into the working world okay uh, it seems the entrepreneur need these skills uh, technical skills i've highlighted those uh, that is uh, important in this uh, slide uh, leadership, uh, business management skill, also creative thinking, not only to come up with ideas for the business venture, but also once the idea is already uh, decided to be into making into a business, also uh, how to go about facing challenges in bringing that uh, idea to become product and then to the customer. And uh you'd be surprised that uh, much uh, a lot of communication skill is required in any uh, uh, discussion with uh, either the customer client or the supplier and many other net with networking uh, uh, ability requires communication skills so much of this uh, lecture is seems to be very wordy and uh, I can't be going through word by word uh, because uh, it has a lot of slides. So I'm going to go a bit faster this lecture. Hopefully you understand that my purpose is uh, not to scare you about all these uh, skills uh, that can be categorized as hard skill as well as soft skill. You can see hard skill is technical and financial skill. Uh, based on you know some kind of uh, work to be done on computer or even uh, keeping a ledger uh, those are uh, considered hard skill because uh, even the use of uh, equipment um, in the manufacturing uh, so you have to learn uh, those kind of skills uh, especially if you're engineering student you understand many things uh, relevant to using equipment, machinery, uh, even robotics to do the uh, required work. Okay? But there's also, also soft skills. Uh, this soft skill, you know, you already, uh, hopefully you already attend classes for soft skill, how to communicate well, uh, how to have these uh, leadership skills. Hmm? But much of it, uh, uh, even though the student attend for soft skill in university, uh, we uh, lecturers keep getting uh, complaints by students that attend internship about uh, lacking or lack of uh, soft skill even though already learned. So I gather the ability of uh, improving in soft skill is by uh, your own uh, ability to face it and uh, gain experience uh, when it comes to soft skill so in this uh, slide you can see all the uh, uh, skills that's been listed to be uh, you know uh, found in an entrepreneur a good entrepreneur so uh, various skills you have uh, management uh, even into being a good team uh, worker uh, financial skills financial skills perhaps is not uh, you need to know because when you are given the uh, you know this uh, double entry uh, accounts or whatever at least have an idea uh, what has been uh, put in the uh, ledger okay so uh, not entirely must know every single or how to do it 
Okay. Sometimes you can just hire accounts club and they will know exactly how to do it. But you need to know to interpret whether you are having profit or loss. Uh, so that's the meaning of having overall skills rather than uh, specific uh, skills. And that goes same with all other skills here. Uh, perhaps it's not important to know in detail, uh, to be very skillful in each of these uh, uh, skills given, but rather have uh, an idea, an overall view, and therefore you can slowly uh, get better at it over the years and finally be an expert uh, rather than you know avoiding it altogether or worse have a, a taboo or you know uh, anxiety over a particular type of skill over uh, instead of becoming better over time you fear and uh, entirely run away from uh, being an entrepreneur altogether so now uh, each one of those skills uh, or rather uh, two skills uh, per slide has been included to be uh, highlighting the important part of these uh, skills for your understanding and also for ability for you to improve on it. As I said, there are many slides, so I'm going to quickly go through, not going word by word. Okay. Looks like a management skill is uh, ability to multitask and it is true uh, in any uh, organization, uh, either entrepreneurship or normal common businesses, or even for that matter, when you become an uh, engineer uh, or an officer uh, in any uh, office, you will have to do multitask. Um, not sure whether as a student you do multitasking, but you are quite familiar with multi multitasking, uh, I believe. And uh, in certain, uh, when you uh, embark in a career, you will see the multitasking is quite uh, taxing because the deadline could be very uh, close to one to the other. Okay? Uh, that's where you must learn how to seek uh, uh, assistance, help from another person. Okay? And then uh, teamwork. Uh, looks like uh, you need to have a, a good teamwork. Uh, if you are the supervisor, you must have a, a good subordinate. Uh, you don't be uh, micromanaging, they call it, or top-down, but uh, rather uh, discussion with uh, the subordinates to uh, come to any agreement or to solve any problem. This one is on communication and listening. Uh, I guess uh, when you are in the leadership role, you also must engage in active listening uh, rather than, you know, uh, all the time giving orders, but rather also understand uh, feedback from uh, your subordinates, they call it, in order to decide. And sometimes uh, the communication is not uh, verbal, uh, only by talking, sometimes distance. You could have few branches, uh, uh, offices in other uh, localities. Therefore, you need to be good in sending the messages using emails. Uh, so a lot of us are very poor in writing emails until the message sent is uh, uh, misunderstood. So uh, that will be very uh, bad for business if the message that you send is being misunderstood. Even though you know what you want, but when you put it into words, uh, written words, it uh, become wrongly understood. So be careful how you write. Uh, now even worse, uh, WhatsApps, uh, are being a tool of uh, work uh, or businesses. So uh, it has to be, you know, short sentence. Uh, make sure it does not be misunderstood by the receiving person.
So here the customer service skills. Huh? If you are, uh, you know, small company like what I am, uh, entrepreneur does everything. Okay, so uh, I need to be very careful when I deal with the customer uh, selling the product of the Beirut Po Ali. Uh, sometimes need to communicate directly with the person. Sometimes I do have fear when uh, purchases is by cash on delivery (COD) where I go and meet a stranger. Uh, so I need to be also careful, but uh, also uh, give the benefit of doubt because I also want the business. So uh, brave enough to meet the customer in many location, location which are, uh, you know, uh, decided by the customer. Okay. And then financial skills, uh, you I highlighted there. You can uh, have these planners, financial planners, you know, softwares, maybe free, maybe have to pay, uh, or read uh, books relevant in how to uh, put into the accounts. Uh. Uh, there are also softwares, but if all all things fail, very complicated to understand. I do agree. Uh, you can look into uh, hiring uh, accounts club, uh, the, uh, an experienced account cl accounts club that has been working in another company with uh, sound knowledge and therefore you can pinch the person and they will help out. Of course, in a big organization, all these departments are already in place. But if you turn out to be the boss, the entrepreneur with the big organization, you must still know a little bit of the uh, how financial uh, uh, accounting is being done for you to interpret and discuss with uh, in a meeting. This. Uh, Analytical skill and problem solving skill and also critical skill uh, thinking skill is something that uh, I do not know uh, whether any form of uh, attending course uh, for this uh, three or any, uh, you know, watching videos or reading books. Uh, yeah, I, I understand that many entrepreneurs, uh, they read a lot of books. Uh, on uh, skill development uh, in many areas or watch videos uh, they can buy training videos okay? but these three i think it is uh, uh, in my opinion is over the years you become better when you face many uh, challenges problems uh, then you become better uh, critical thinking is if a person go around thinking that uh, nothing wrong with them, uh, not putting themselves in um, thoughts, whether everything they develop, uh, the product, uh, I always uh, think whether the Bayrut to Ali uh, can do the job. Uh, but when there is returning customer, I know it is uh, in good order. So you have to sometimes ask the question, uh, the product that you are coming out with it, will they be uh, buying one time and buying again <laughs> like that critically instead of saying, you know, no, 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 I don't want to uh, think about that at all. Uh, then you'll be at loss. Many of times people don't even think about have a foresight. Uh, that means think about uh, planning. Uh, but uh, in studying business, uh, many things need to be planned. However, uh, not like expecting 100% planning uh, to be, uh, you know, uh, you plan and expect everything to go smooth when you actually do it. There will be uh, things going a bit not right, but you must also have the ability to think that you can overcome these problems that crop up. But having a good planning means you will have less uh, problems you will face uh, when you actually start the project or start the company uh, that's what i'm saying so please have good planning and we will teach you about the business planning that will have uh, all financial marketing operational organizational plans uh, that come forward okay 
Uh, technical skills, there's a lot of uh, skills to be learned. I personally uh, realized that uh, in the, uh, you know, in the development of uh, Beirut to Ali capsule itself. Many things I had to learn, uh, but no choice. Uh, uh, when you're put into that position, I just uh, learned it. Here, more on the skills, uh, time management and organization uh, skills. Uh, so, uh, looks like uh, uh, these skills also you need to uh, sharpen as time goes by. But please uh, uh, don't, don't get very scared uh, until you know you feel like, oh, so much to learn. Uh, but once you go through the days and months and years, uh, all these could be just fundamental or, you know, uh, will be better at it over time. We next move on about decision making. It is true, uh, some for some people, uh, just like uh, majority of uh, uh, humans, <laughs> majority of men are having problem making uh, decision. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, as a, a human being, you will be facing many of a time to make uh, crucial uh, decisions. And uh, so here, given a particular uh, chart on how to make a decision, okay, uh, probably you need to have a lot of uh, alternative options, uh, opinions, uh, and then study these uh, options, uh, alternative opinions, and make a proper judgment uh, on which is better uh, compared to the other. Uh, or uh, you know, uh, uh, slowly uh, come to uh, judgment. Uh, that's the I, uh, idea here. Not to be rash and quickly decide on the first ever option given to you. Uh, that's what I mean. Uh, if you say when you finish or graduate, uh, what is your decision? Where to work? Are you going for the first offer? Or are you going to weigh out all the offers and decide? Uh, that's the meaning there. So here, given uh, probably something from a you know a book or something that already become a facts about how to make a decision. Uh, one thing for sure, uh, you have to make a decision by several steps. Uh, rather than you know straight away you plan or think about it and decide <laughs> so uh, ensure that every decision uh, important decision uh, is actually taken some kind of uh, uh, steps before or not done in a rash way uh, doesn't matter whatever uh, uh, facts are there about you know like this one you plan you direct you lead you control and then organize and only then make decision but in uh, reality sometimes decision need to be done uh, uh, in immediately but make sure you don't do it uh, in a rash manner uh, rash and immediate is uh, different uh, uh, thoughts altogether okay? And this slide is uh, referring to problem solving ability or, you know, something that is uh, uh, very factual on how to do problem solving. Okay? Uh, I do not have uh, the credentials in teaching you how to do problem solving or how to solve all your problems. Okay? But based on this, 
uh, before you reach a solution, it looks like it is best to take the problem, understand the problem a bit more. To understand the problem a bit more, maybe you can use all these uh, analytical skill or using some form of uh, mathematical uh, uh, you know statistics or you know uh, some form of uh, finally arriving to values rather than being very abstract very subjective and only then uh, make us make a, a decision or come up with solution for any problem but uh, no matter how much i teach you how to solve problem uh, maybe there is never a proper technique it's best that you yourself uh, you know learn on uh, what is best for you when you face a problem okay uh, that is my uh, advice to you and also be uh, 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 don't worry over time you will know how to have the skills of solving any problem because experience counts uh, that's where uh, being in the industry very long uh, being an entrepreneur or being in your career uh, for a long time, you will eventually have uh, the these skills of uh, problem solving. So here, uh, you know, we are not focusing on entrepreneur per se, uh, to specific to entrepreneur, but more in any working place. So, you know, uh, attending this course, uh, attending this lecture seems to be uh, not only helpful in being an entrepreneur for some of you <laughs> i i'm uh, you know gather that uh, all uh, say 100 students will not become entrepreneur that's without um, doubt okay uh, if all become entrepreneur then who will be the working uh, person or the ant in the uh, you know the organization okay but looks like uh, you know even this slide uh, gives you an idea about how to be or how to behave in a workplace uh? looks like this one is uh, solving problem uh? Uh, they give you steps step one until seven uh, this one normally applies to in a, a group uh, a group of few people how they uh, react to a problem uh? First, to identify the issue, understand uh, the interest of everyone for that issue. Is it uh, the degree is uh, high? The issue is quite uh, troublesome, need to be attended to immediately, or can put aside and look into another issue first, more pressing issues. Eh? And uh, if you face the problem, uh, how do you put all the solution options together? Is it like uh, simple as uh, having one option to solve it or gather a few options and then evaluate which option will be the best uh, remedy or what can solve the problem the best? Okay? And then uh, don't stop at only if it's in a you know in a workplace uh, uh, normally everything is documented uh, put into writing in organizations such as uh, my own organization we will minute it uh, so the next time we will know uh, what was uh, agreed upon and take action uh, they then uh, it's more like uh, black and white okay and then uh, uh, come back in another meeting uh, see who is supposed to be taking action uh, uh, with the option uh, to solve the problem and then uh, ask in the next meeting whether uh, the problem has already been resolved and if it's not resolved probably decide on this uh, contingency uh, another solu uh, another solution instead of the earlier solution and uh, if it's already done then move on to something else uh, so that's the step one to seven any organization i already realized i've been in many uh, organization worked in many places i realized they must have some kind of uh, step in place 
uh, to have their workers to uh, do the action and also uh, reaction okay uh, you must get feedback from the person in charge whether the matter has already been resolved after you come up with solution so uh, this part i would like to go a bit faster uh, is basically uh, business sources uh, to give advice to also uh, provide uh, uh, training to provide services uh, in matters relevant to uh, putting up a company uh, so this uh, for instance uh, example is uh, given here Suruanjaya Sharikat Malaysia this is the one SSM uh, there you can go there is the uh, information counter that will give an idea how to set up the company uh, doesn't matter enterprise or Sunirian Brahad, they will give you advice. Uh, so be uh, don't be anxious, don't be scared about uh, all these matters because they are proper authorities to advise you. So here all the uh, I know agencies like Mara here, the advisory scheme that is available and you can go through on your own uh, the content of this slide uh, similarly the next slide uh, on all the uh, targeted uh, entrepreneurs under the scheme of mara uh, you can have many of it a to g uh, that all look into supporting you and also encouraging you to be entrepreneur okay uh, then you have the pun uh, B also uh, you know looking into pre-business operation meaning before the business is started in uh, what are the uh, things need to be done uh, procedures need to be done in a proper way therefore making sure your company is legal and therefore you can forget about legality of your business move on in developing the product or the services rather okay also have another one here pk has uh, hub uh, for small and medium uh, enterprise uh, corporation uh, for startup of business okay go through it uh, so uh, just remember there are many sources uh, for your support so don't uh, uh, ignore uh, these sources sometimes uh, you tend to be you know engrossed in uh, setting up the company making the product you forgot uh, there are also support available it's a matter of seeking uh, where this support is we move on in understanding uh, particular skills that can be said uh, critical or important in the opening of business and also sustaining that business okay uh, this one is negotiation uh, skills many of the skills uh, need uh, negotiation huh? you uh, to negotiate uh, i tell you based on my own experience uh, in setting up the uh, developing the product uh, by ruto ali uh, i had to discuss uh, with the say the indigenous people about the pricing of buying the root okay and also when i went to the uh, gmp plan the manufacturing plan uh, you see the npra or the ministry of health uh, allows us only to have one company as the gmp plan for herbal production and once you already set that uh, 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 factory uh, they are the one you have to deal again and again for every batch of production so uh, when I went physically to the uh, factory, it was uh, uh, very difficult because of my inexperience in that uh, development of product. So at that moment itself, immediately have to come up with also the pricing, negotiate the pricing in putting the uh, raw material into the capsule and putting it into bottle. So we have to make a lot of uh, discussion on the pricing of uh, how much to be paid for these services. So uh, 
one thing I realize, uh, 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 I don't make the decision uh, immediately. Uh, things that I am not uh, sure, I told, uh, let me go back and then come back with you and a proper answer. Uh, uh, so, we, so I can go back and do some homework uh, to do research. How much is the best uh, pricing to be given? At least uh, not having a rash decision at that moment itself. Uh, when uh, things like this, you want to have a win-win position. Uh, that's why I highlighted there. Uh, so uh, again, negotiation skill is important and you will learn it no matter uh, books or websites or videos on how to do negotiation is available but uh, these are very you know uh, at the moment uh, kind of thing that you need to learn uh, again experience will make you better so here again carry on about uh, ne negotiations uh, many of these uh, uh, lecture today, uh, slides of uh, lecture is very uh, difficult for me to be factual. Uh, they could suggest must have a mutually win-win situation, uh, but uh, in business, sometimes you will have one person winning and another person uh, completely losing okay uh, you know it, there is also an understanding of certain communities uh, you must always win while the other person is to lose and then therefore you are a big winner <laughs> so uh, I can't tell you what is the right uh, way of uh, doing business negotiation uh, negotiation but uh, ensure whatever negotiation you have finally done, you don't walk out of the room thinking you were the loser. Okay, and uh, make sure whatever negotiation you done does not come out to be uh, illegal, uh, uh, unethical. I leave it up to you. But if it's illegal and if it's later been found out. Uh, you will have a big problem with the law, uh, law and order. Uh, you don't, I don't want you to end up in jail or I don't want you to end up in a very uh, difficult civil case that will end up uh, you losing a lot of money. Okay, uh, So always have that in mind that you come out of the negotiation uh, table uh, thinking that you have uh, come out as a winner and also not illegal or uh, you judge on the unethical thing. So here yeah, full sets of uh, qualities that you can uh, understand about negotiation, a uh, good negotiator. Okay, uh, Looks like you need to be fully confident and I agree, uh, you know, uh, when you actually face, uh, like me, going to the uh, GMP manufacturing plant, uh, I don't want to show them any sign that I am uh, not confident, like uh, you know, first time dealing with them or first, first time dealing with a company related to that. Uh, but uh, uh, I do realize uh, at times I was kind of uh, showing uh, non-confident behavior because <laughs> no matter how you want to hide, how you want to put a poker face, uh, they finally, once they come up with a lot of facts, you know, the bottle size, uh, the, uh, you know, uh, pricing wise, uh, you will let go of your immaturity, uh, no confidence, but they were very nice. Uh, you'll be surprised at what people are out there, the clients, they will still be nice to help you out. Uh, so confidence uh, seems to be uh, for the second product. Uh, the first product, I was not confident. But you see, when you already gone through the experience, either good or bad, for the second product, the Bayruto Ali, I was fully confident in negotiating the deal because it was uh, also it was a different company and I realized that 
uh, the experience I learned in the first uh, company helped me in the development of the second product. Okay, so uh, these are all uh, good negotiator qualities. Please read it and hopefully you understand. If you uh, need more assistance, look into YouTube videos on how to improve on these uh, you know, capabilities. So here, given the stages of negotiation, uh, it could be pre-negotiation. Uh, first, you discuss, you know, have meetings or on the phone uh, or emails uh, and then uh, come to a negotiation, official uh, declaration probably must be done physically, you know, to ensure uh, it is uh, concrete, strong, uh, but uh, don't leave it with a handshake of agreement, uh, you have this uh, post-negotiation uh, and uh, written agreement uh, signed by both of you uh, and also with witness. And then finally, uh, proceed with action and see whether everything is in the right direction until the product is achieved. Uh, that's what the meaning is. Uh, I did the same thing with uh, the uh, plant uh, the, the factory. Uh, I ensure that there is a written agreement. Uh, they have uh, formalities. I also ensure that I created uh, forms uh, after they asked me to pay uh, and then uh, started maybe a memorandum of uh, understanding MOU or MOA. Uh, from my own, uh, cre I create the forms and ask them to sign uh, once they say they are the contract manufacturer for my product. So uh, you have to have that kind of uh, black and white uh, um, so that you don't get cheated. Here are given uh, more faces, but I'm not going to go in detail about it. All this is about your exposure, uh, at least before you actually face the actual uh, activities uh, for business nego negotiation. At least you have some uh, formal exposure. So please uh, read and uh, have an understanding. Of course, it's uh, not complete. Uh, all this, uh, you know, uh, fundamental knowledge you are exposed to knowledge but it's not complete until you see something or even you yourself have a role play huh? so you can have here uh, from a, a segment of a movie actually a, a hollywood movie where uh, how uh, he uh, acting like steve job in trying to get a, a particular negotiation going on on selling his uh, uh, computer. Uh, so you look at how he discussed and uh, it's done in a very uh, uh, informal way. <laughs> Not even like sitting down in an office, uh, in a meeting room. It's just like, you know, done uh, quickly, randomly and looks so natural, like having a, a discussion with a friend. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Negotiation is sometimes uh, done in this way, uh, not in a very formal way. Uh, so, but at the end of the day, make sure there is a written agreement finally done to ink the signature in a paper. Right. Next is uh, learning about communication skills. Uh, communication is also very important, right? Uh, you have communication in every rank uh, uh, from you discussing with uh, somebody on top of you, highly ranked, uh, maybe the CEO, you are the manager, you are the supervisor or, you know, uh, talking to someone below uh, your subordinates, they call it. Uh, there will be ways to communicate, uh, could be verbally. And then uh, ways to be having a reception of what you have communicated, whether it is uh, acceptable. Uh, so you need to also look into feedback. So 
this is how uh, you know uh, you being uh, we are the only organism in the uh, you know world that actually communicates well uh, we are able to use language uh, unlike animals so make sure you become better at it because looks like communication plays an important role for your career uh, doesn't matter you become an entrepreneur or non-entrepreneur but when you fit into any particular company communication is a vital tool for the growth of your profession this uh, slide is just to tell you that uh, communication in any business it involves internally and also externally and uh, both carry uh, I would say same amount of weightage because if you don't do a proper communication to internally in your organization then uh, you will have a problem uh, with the company and then if you don't do it if externally especially customers uh, then uh, you keep scolding them and then where can you get people to buy your product uh, not only that uh, they are uh, government officials uh, they have ability to stop your business altogether so need to be very good <clears throat> and uh, in big organization uh, if you end up having a big organization or part of an, a big organization there is actually a PR person who is very skillful in communicating with people never get angry uh, so they have attended uh, uh, PR uh, you know maybe a degree in PR itself so that's why they are employed this is a nice slide that uh, covers uh, or breaks down the communication into three types uh, one is verbal oral communication we all have learned how to uh, talk uh, since babies <laughs> okay so it's just matter of being good at it uh, in order to be uh, having ability uh, giving speech for instance uh, or uh, chairing a, a meeting uh, these are higher levels of uh, verbal communication but as you progress through life uh, and be part of a organization uh, as a career person this uh, verbal communication will become better and better of course to be a good orator uh, to give speech without uh, you know holding uh, uh, you know something it is written speech to be just talking just like that that uh, requires uh, skill but uh, over time maybe that also can be obtained by any person okay and then uh, uh, sometimes uh, you have uh, gauge a lot of information by just looking at body language okay when you uh, given an offer uh, for for instance negotiation uh, say i'm talking to the indige indigenous people uh, and they give me a good offer uh, i don't get excited and uh, immediately agree i just keep cool uh, and then even go to the level although already got a good offer for buying the Tongkat Ali uh, route, for instance, in bulk, I go to next level uh, where I ask them whether they can process the wood. I don't need to process it in my lab or manufacturing uh, plant. And they give another pricing where they have cut into chips. Uh, and even up to the level of uh, blendering the whole chips into powder and that's a different price okay so uh, you learn a lot about uh, you know body language uh, you don't give out information that the price was amazing uh, amazingly good until uh, they feel like they've been cheated in you know giving you the price so keep calm and negotiate all that is uh, called non-verbal communication 
and then uh, written communication uh, you have to be also skillful in writing uh, either in bahasa or in english uh, some people have uh, weaknesses in english writing but uh, you know now got lot of uh, translators uh, you can translate english to malay malay to english uh, google translator use it uh, to your best ability so here given a slide on the barriers uh, everybody have a different uh, degree of ability in any skills okay uh, i may be uh, good in you know uh, my uh, listening ability <laughs> but maybe i have problem in uh, perception uh, uh, yeah, how i communicate uh, i may have uh, sent a wrong perception uh, i thought I, I'm good at listening, uh, but then when I say it out, maybe it's been misunderstood. Probably the uh, language that I send, uh, verbal uh, discussion may not be received well. Uh, perceive, uh, that's the meaning of perceive. Okay? And then uh, there's also challenges of uh, emotion. Sometimes uh, the way you express may be not accepted by the person there could be conflict there okay so uh, these are the barriers when uh, communication is uh, uh, involved uh, so you need to overcome it over time with practice become perfect so that's what uh, these barriers uh, when it comes to communication now these are more of the barriers i'm not going to go in detail because uh, not much time uh, I got 60 slides above to go through. So just bear in mind there are barriers, there are different degrees of uh, you know uh, how you can do well in communication. Overcome these barriers, you will be a good communicator. A lot of people don't think uh, feedback is important. Huh? We, uh, we lecturers or teachers when we teach, Supposedly, we must give feedback and student is uh, uh, looking forward for the feedback to improve. Okay? When we do assessment, uh, we need to uh, write in the, uh, you know, the assignment or uh, whatever uh, submission, some kind of notes there to say why you didn't get full marks. So same goes for entrepreneur. You want to get the feedback from the supplier you want to get the feedback from your client you want to get feedback from the customer especially the customer are they happy with your product i remember for bioruto ali capsule i made some a few questions and then when the customer buy they already use it after a few weeks then i send this to their whatsapp and uh, managed to get some uh, feedback uh, luckily, it's constructive, positive. Uh, then only I feel much more confident in going forward with the product, uh, you know, uh, until selling more. Uh, looks like more uh, on the communication feedback, uh, many uh, highlighted here. Uh, please uh, go through on your own. Uh, I think uh, empathetic is a bit of a, a you know a, a English word that many people do not understand. Empathetic means uh, before a person asks for favor, you already uh, able to understand that that person needs a favor, and without asking, you already offer uh, the help or assistance. That's the meaning of be empathetic. So next skill is about sales and uh, again if you end up as the entrepreneur like what I have uh, done is uh, sometimes you uh, employ people who already have experiences in uh, sales and uh, uh, in my opinion this is a crucial part of any company where sales uh, marketing promotion is uh, uh, done in a very dedicated manner so that you know you achieve uh, the closing to be uh, to become uh, profit okay 
or not uh, what's the point of production uh, quality control quality assurance what's the point of r d finally you know uh, cannot sell okay because you don't have uh, you know capable uh, staff under you that can do the marketing and also closing the sales okay so here given that uh, any uh, exchange of goods or services is uh, about uh, getting money uh, in the, what is currency uh, and also or equivalent equivalent here could be you sell something for not money but rather exchange with uh, or, or trade with a, a like a butter trade with another uh, goods okay with a, a mutual agreement okay? so uh, here given uh, also a diagram about you know the funnel uh, usually the funnel at the bottom is the important one that is the closing of the purchase itself okay look like a lot of things need to be considered in sales uh, creating creating the awareness uh, the interest uh, hopefully the customer considers uh, and then uh, evaluate and finally do the purchase maybe sometimes need to have a push in the decision of purchasing uh, from the marketing people one of the good things is uh, you are also a customer before uh, so you know the point of you being a customer how is it feels like now you are on the other side selling to the customer therefore you have an idea how to do it okay? but looks like uh, uh, people buy product uh, not for the product but rather the benefit the product gives so more must stress on the benefit therefore even a customer who don't have any intention of buying the product will then uh, you know have a uh, change of mind <laughs> or uh, given a uh, you know like a light bulb thinking about now thinking about it uh, of the product okay like you know by ruto ali capsule who whoever uh, which customer would want to buy a drug uh, a herbal drug uh, why do they want to buy a capsule and uh, take it uh, but you tell them you see uh, uh, after the age of 40 there will be lowering of hormone of testosterone then it will make you become uh, you know fat uh, obese uh, with a belly and even make you lose hair then they see oh i need to increase back the testosterone and looks like this is a natural way of doing it then you see the you create the benefit which they never thought why they are becoming having belly having um, no hair only now they realize is because of the hormone testosterone becoming low in their body so maybe a scare technique but it works so uh, looks like the person who prepared these slides uh, also have taken an example uh, by using a washing machine huh? so you have uh, you know maybe a customer breakdown of a washing machine already in the house then see the need to go and buy a washing machine but uh, can you make a person uh, sell to a person who never already have a washing machine at home can you you know give all the features benefit until they consider replacing their old washing machine uh, so that's your job in selling uh, if you next time get employed in the marketing side in sales uh, you know uh, companies then they, that's what they will teach you they will teach you many techniques of marketing and sales and uh, here you see washing machine is shown but can you highlight to the customer uh, do you, is it 7 kg or is it 10 kg or 8 kg uh, one washing machine has different loading cap capacity uh, uh, if the family is big then likelihood of 10 kg is suggested if uh, you know uh, only a couple uh, single and then 7 kg will do then you save electricity right 
don't have to have a you know large machine running uh, if so little clothes so these are the features you highlight until the customer see that they want to buy even though this washing machine i tell you the front loading they call it is more expensive than than the top loading uh, the top loading may be five six hundred ringgit but the front loading could go up to thousand two thousand because it also have uh, you can see the steam action uh? it can uh, uh, include steam in the cleaning process therefore stubborn stains can be removed the front uh, or top loading don't have that feature so it is your job to convince by showing the features okay this one probably you know uh, uh, maybe a family don't even have a washing machine uh, so the salesperson easy only <laughs> do you want to do like this every day uh, uh, or you want to just get a washing machine so job done but um, just have to convince the person about payment because not everybody can afford but that also the salesperson very smart look sir you can look into installment easy payment scheme uh, don't have to give the whole uh, sum today we will look into it payment month by month with a little interest so that's how you talk this also about the washing machine huh? uh, creating the need to that family you tell the family huh? uh, maybe don't talk to the husband talk to the wife look madam you don't have to you know look into uh, you know working so hard uh, to just have this machine and then you can spend more time with your family uh, and then don't worry about the kids going to mud and everything this machine can do the job of cleaning clean as new <laughs> so you do these kind of convincing abilities therefore the uh, wife then go to the tell the husband this is the machine and then you do the closing with the husband so that's how we do it so more to highlight huh, like this uh, picture here uh, all these uh, photos all about the washing machine again uh, you can say to the customer uh, look uh, you do your kids do painting no worries get dirty and you you know book do cooking without apron no worries if you get stained can wash this washing machine can do the job it doesn't have any problem you can just relax and do your work you know make a chat with your friend on the phone or you know you can just watch tv with your family members huh? instead of uh, you know wasting time trying to figure out how to clean up your laundry <laughs> so that's how you do it okay you must have the ability as a salesperson a marketing person these uh, you know uh, ad hoc uh, uh, talking uh, skills in convincing people uh, either doesn't matter in english in bahasa also talk 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 you know i remember having a booth uh, you know to sell the tonka ali products it is uh, initially was very difficult to even get people to come to the booth but after a while uh, having one or two customers uh, coming I learn how to cope with them and even have ways to attract people to the counter. So uh, what I just said, all the solution, all the uh, you know features after telling the customer and then customer will say, you have convinced me I will buy this. No matter 5,000 ringgit, I will buy this machine for my wife. <laughs> that is uh, an example okay in real life i do not know okay you may be successful uh, maybe you try 10 times you only get uh, to sell one so be ready to see 100 customers to sell five products so this is the uh, pro progression or progress right from creating the need and then wanting desiring to buy and then finally uh, you know uh, not that they will demand to buy but they will then uh, post an inquiry and then you do the closing okay so 
uh, I can also uh, reflect on this uh, selling terminology by using the product of Beirut Ali. Okay. Normally, I try to create the need and want and desire, which the customer do not even know they uh, need this product by uh, you know uh, giving them information that do you feel lethargic uh, normally i will target uh, people or men in the age of 40 and beyond yeah? and then men who are looking uh, you know uh, old for their age uh, mostly a bit uh, plum looking belly wise or you know um, aging like balding and all that so it's a sign of low testosterone of course they can do uh, you know go to the lab uh, hospital or clinic and take their blood and do uh, tests on their blood and to see how much of level of testosterone uh, uh, and then the doctor can suggest even medication like injection of testosterone directly okay so all these i will tell and then uh, you know uh, tell them their situation being lethargic is due to low testosterone don't you want a solution which is you know natural tongkat uh, is natural and then uh, slow and definitely can achieve it after one month of taking this uh, natural supplement okay? and it's proven um, they can just quickly Google and Tokar Ali will say, uh, you know, has all that ability because, you know, many years already been practiced. So it's easy by you creating the need which the customer don't even have uh, thought about it last time. Okay? Then they, you know, reflect on it. Oh, I do feel tired, huh? lethargic all the time. Maybe if I take this, as uh, the man say, it will uh, bring uh, uh, back my energy. Huh? Wouldn't they uh, want to try after that? So they buy. Yeah? And then you better hope that uh, your product can do the job because not only by saying, huh? but I have confidence in my product and definitely it will boost the energy. So here, uh, you know, uh, looking into customer needs uh, has been shown by being respectful, uh, recognizing their needs, uh, understanding. Uh, uh, all this uh, is also uh, by targeting the customer. Eh? If you are taking care of exhibition booth, these are the customers that you would like to target, uh, targeted customer rather than anybody. Uh, bring and then bringing the person to the uh, booth itself exhibition booth itself is not that easy so what we do is for Bayruto Ali capsule we will have a, a weighing balance we will have the height uh, measuring so we can calculate the BMI so we attract people to come to the booth and we will say we will do uh, BMI uh, body mass index uh, calculation for them to see whether they are normal, obese or overweight. Also, we'll have the glucose test. Uh, we prick the finger and do the glucose test. Only after that, we will say, can you consider this product which can help you to have good health, good men's health. Uh, so that's how we do it. Okay. So these are all the must uh, be done by a salesperson and must not be done by a salesperson quite a lot uh, you, i think uh, you would have had also experience with salesperson uh, you know a person who is not even respecting you would you go to that person or go to a person who is more respectful uh, more uh, honest um, and also attentive to you all that you know Okay. So when you become the sales or marketing people, try not to uh, follow what is found as must not be. Uh, be more of what is must be. Okay. Uh, I personally, uh, when I go to a restaurant, sometimes the food also not important for me, but the waiter must be very uh, attentive, uh, polite. Uh, 
so these are all your personal uh, uh, you know uh, understanding about uh, what kind of sales people you want so you you are paying the person with your money so you have a right to uh, demand for what is expected from a salesperson and a salesperson is paid salary to do their job and also additionally they are given uh, incentives huh, per uh, every sales huh, and then they compete among all the sales people to achieve the uh, uh, you know best uh, sales figures huh, in every month so they know they have to be more on the left uh, column rather than on the right column so I told you before, you uh, every one of us are customers, and then only at some occasion, uh, a career of selling, uh, salesman. Okay, so as a buying person, uh, customer, you can use this read R E E D. That is need to know what is your need, then uh, make sure you evaluate. If not, uh, don't go and buy immediately. Uh, don't go and be, use RD only. Put all together READ. Okay. On the other side, if you're a salesperson, you need to use this ODPEC, uh, uh, where you, uh, so I was taught about uh, cold calling, they call it. Uh, you just take up your hand, uh, the, the dial some customer, a list of customers, uh, you call them up, they don't know you, you try to engage in a discussion, uh, cold calling, until they have the interest to talk to you uh, more. They don't say, uh, no, please don't disturb me. Uh, if this is a promotion, don't disturb me, uh, I'm busy. But you must know how to be understanding, cool about it, engage more, and then, but don't uh, disturb the customer also. Okay, all this is the process on closing the deal. Uh, the C is closing. Uh, closing means they end up purchasing. Uh, what's the point of talking, talking, talking? No closing. Also problem. Then your boss will say you didn't achieve the target. Okay, so all this is the process. So I was uh, fortunate enough before I looked into setting up this entrepreneur company in coming up with uh, uh, this product of Tonkat Ali. I was actually previously uh, after my master's have become salesman as well. So I was uh, working with Pfizer uh, selling their uh, drugs. So uh, I realized uh, at least one of the job, I also done sales on other job as well, uh, selling uh, scientific equipment. So it is uh, ability uh, that you realize, uh, they give me a lot of training uh, of uh, one month or two months uh, in the classroom, uh, training uh, and then role playing. Uh, but I realized once I come to the ground, uh, that's a different thing altogether, but after a while, you'll be good at it, okay? So, uh, the one that very difficult for me was the target. Uh, sometimes the target is uh, the, the boss want you to achieve that particular number of sales. Uh, that has never been easy, but uh, by using all these uh, theories, which they will teach, uh, hopefully you gain uh, some idea before you actually go for the ground. So let's look at uh, some of these uh, approaches or theory. Uh, this one is FAB. Try to bring out in the product the feature advantage of uh, and also the benefit. Uh, given here, nice one. Uh, benefit is like, you know, you're selling an umbrella. Uh, umbrella is supposed to keep you away from rain and also sun. So uh, two benefits it can uh, provide. <clears throat> and then uh, feature wise, uh, it is, you know, unbreakable. So it will last longer and it's made of uh, cloth, uh, you know, rigid, uh, very strong cloth. So you tell about the features. Uh, this normally is when you buy handphone, uh, you already experience as a customer. When you buy your, you know, handphone, 
you will ask all kind of things nowadays uh, even uh, i realize after buying a few handphone we always looking for the uh, ram is it uh, how fast uh, your handphone can perform then the memory uh, is it 128 gigabyte or is it uh, you know 64 only so all these uh, features so highlight all these features uh, i think for Bayrut Po Ali it's about of course Tongkat Ali was uh, you know earlier uh, it's been labeled as for sexual purposes okay but I am uh, targeting for good health of men <laughs> so uh, because if I target uh, only for sexual purposes uh, I only will have all these uh, dirty men buying my product <laughs> but I want to and has already proven in our lab uh, research and development that it helps to increase testosterone and after the age of 40 testosterone drops uh, more for one person compared to the other so i want to tell the man look you are not aware about this why you are becoming old why not you consider this product and you will see that you will be healthy like any other common man of your age now that's what i'm saying so with that my customer segment will be more rather than i target uh, only men thinking of tongkat ali is meant for uh, dirty business okay so i bring the fab about tongkat ali and, uh, looks like more theories on uh, marketing sales uh, uh, I'm not the expert on this, but it looks like, you know, uh, IDA, A-I-D-A, is all about creating an attention and then uh, hopefully interest is already achieved with the customer and then somehow you convince the desire and some thoughts go in to finally take action. It's good if you find a customer who is a shopaholic, a lot of money already there, uh, no problem in convincing that kind of person but if you have a very stingy customer uh, you know thinking about uh, Bayruto Ali is like uh, no I don't gonna waste money on that I'm gonna keep my money in the bank my health is not important then uh, you have to talk until that person is convinced okay and you have to talk with very limited time you are given in a very convincing manner okay same goes with uh, spin spin is all about uh, sometimes uh, talking to the customer alone wouldn't help but asking question uh, sir do you feel tired of late uh, compared to when you were 10 years uh, ago when you were 30 something now you're in your 40s do you feel tired have you heard about the theory that you know uh, uh, our body naturally lose uh, or reduce in uh, this hormone uh, uh, men uh, hormone um, testosterone uh, after the age of 40 because the body thinks uh, you already have uh, children married already no need to have kids so it naturally go down in your body so that means you'll get old frail uh, so then you put in uh, all that's how you do talk so this one on the spin uh, just like what i just did on the Bayrut for ali capsule looks like the spin uh, normally uh, you know like astro well, if you're a uh, customer to astro they sometime up to every week they call me uh, so it looks like you know uh, you use the spin uh, situation uh, you know, Astro got a lot of movie channel, right? So you have, uh, you know, they will ask question on the phone. Uh, Sir, how many movie channels you have presently in your plan? Uh, and then you say, you know, I reduced it lah to, you know, I pay 89 ringgit only last time, 150 ringgit. Uh, times are very bad. And then problem uh, question. How do you feel missing out on the biggest uh, entertaining movie? Uh, so, you no. Know, uh, they know already you not putting the sport channel for instance or you're not putting the cartoon channel or the movie channel so they say you, you don't have hbo uh, no sir you you don't feel like you're missing it uh. 
why don't you think about it for your kids? Huh? You busy working, but maybe for your kids, maybe necessary, you know, don't let them uh, lose out on all these uh, important movies that is playing on. Yeah? Then they say, yeah, we do happen to have a promotion now. Uh, would you like to consider? It's a reasonable price. You see the RS is actually rupees. <laughs> Indian uh, currency. Maybe they took this from uh, Indian pro uh, channel promotion. And then the customer also on the phone. Okay, all right. Uh, it looks like very promising promotion. Why not you upgrade my, uh, you know, package like that? Okay. This is uh, a bit uh, difficult for actually younger generation like you. <laughs> for me, I understand very well because uh, this is a cartoon of uh, Popeye the Sailor Man. Yeah, looks like this uh, Popeye uh, is your customer. Uh, consider Popeye uh, not strong at the moment. And then you give, uh, for me, I give the Tongkat Ali, uh, Bayuruto Ali capsule. And then the customer takes and suddenly, just like Popeye, when he eats spinach from the container, uh, he uh, puts the spinach and immediately he'll become strong, uh, powerful and can, you know, uh, uh, kick Brutus and save, uh, oh, I forgot the girl's name, <laughs> okay, uh, save the girl. Okay, so uh, that's why uh, young people like you never seen this cartoon of Popeye the Sailor Man. But uh, idea is uh, to create the need again, uh, the, that you know the product will give strength to the person, to the customer. These are all the uh, you know needs, and these needs for the customer seem to vary in terms of their demographics. Uh, demographics means like age, uh, profession, they are different. Uh, you have to realize your segment of uh, customers. Um, let's take an example of my product, uh, Bayaruto Ali Capsule. It is uh, definitely the age of 40 and beyond. Of course, younger people also can, you know, they go to the gym, they want muscle over uh, fat, uh, taking capsule, even sportsmen been, uh, you know, suggested to take Tonka Ali. Uh, uh, it won't be traced in the doping, uh, so no problem. And then uh, education level, I realize uh, uh, it doesn't have any difference in what uh, education uh, level, degree or no degree, a diploma doesn't make a difference on uh, who is using Bayrut Po Ali. Uh, marital status, uh, a huge difference, <laughs> seems to be that people who are married uh, like the product, uh, that one for sure. Last time we used to uh, put FB ad, uh, very specific to area, then we realized uh, I used to remove the uh, gender of uh, uh, female, then my students say, uh, doctor, maybe um, the wife buy for the husband huh? then only i realized okay we carry on also uh, you know uh, men or women uh, okay and then uh, income level uh, uh, i i think more of uh, middle class and below uh, for bayuruto ali capsule uh, and uh, be, probably because rich people very little <laughs> very few not many people okay uh, but Elderly uh, men who uh, you know well off like 60 and above seem to be rich people and they also contract. Okay? Uh, the other parenthood, I think uh, once married is considered, uh, they will go for this product. Uh, place of residence, uh, we tend to think uh, we have an idea after using FB ad to be in the uh, most uh, important city center more sales than uh, small rural uh, areas. So we target Selangu, Penang, uh, like that, okay? Culture-wise, uh, we realize that the majority race uh, are more uh, into buying by Ruto Ali. So I also uh, target them, okay? Uh, the rest is, uh, you know, standard, okay? So here, given uh, all the e-commerce sites that uh, you can use to sell 
personally, I have used uh, by, uh, to sell Bayeruto Ali in muda.my. Uh, even tried eBay or overseas. Uh, uh, in, in Amazon, uh, couldn't because they have certain policies about, uh, they call it VPN number to be registered, then only uh, can sell there. So, couldn't get that number. Uh, Lelong.my is also there, but we didn't try. Uh, we have tried Lazada, uh, Shopee. Shopee was easier to register as the, you know, seller. But uh, Lazada, we uh, we felt it was a bit biased because the registration sort of like uh, didn't get the response when we want to verify. They put uh, some uh, restriction or bias in, they see who is the seller. And when we want to verify, you know, they must uh, send an SMS or, you know, after uh, you uh, click on the site. But uh, keep on having some difficulty. So uh, careful, uh, sometimes got discrimination as well. In uh, Lazada, for your information, is owned by Alibaba. Uh, so uh, my opinion is a uh, little bit uh, got discrimination. Okay? Shopee was uh, not a problem. Shopee, I understand, is the owner is in uh, Singapore. So uh, looks like not a problem. Okay? But uh, all this Moda, Shopee, Lazada, uh, uh, sorry, not Lazada, uh, FB, uh, we also use FB ad. FB ad is, uh, you need to check about it. It's uh, interesting, uh, but I don't have time to talk about it here. Uh, all these are paid. You also have non-paid, but non-paid, you will never seem to be, never get anybody to <laughs> buy. When I pay, you know, like 30 ringgit for five days, uh, they boost the advertisement or selected uh, uh, people, uh, group, then I get calls and uh, purchases done. So here you have uh, more on digital marketing, but uh, uh, personally, uh, yeah, you, you have old style of uh, marketing, you know, like email, brochures, uh, you have uh, uh, advertisement in TV, radio. You can host in the radio show and talk about the product like Bayoruto Ali uh, or, you know, uh, use this uh, Google uh, search engine marketing. I tried to put uh, the company or uh, Industrial Biotech, uh, my company, uh, but the, you know, you have to put in Google and it's so expensive. Uh, maybe up to 5,000 ringgit um, uh, one month. <laughs> so, but it's good once you put, you have the uh, company name there and uh, office hours when. Uh, so it's like an advertisement uh, and also uh, direction, uh, map, Google map, how to go to the office. But unfortunately, uh, advertisement takes money. Okay. You need money to actually uh, make money. So here you have more. Uh, these are social media uh, that is available. Uh, we have tried all. Uh, well, uh, I think we have tried uh, uh, YouTube. Yeah, we have a video, promotional video. Uh, when we go for exhibition award, we make video and then we put it there. Uh, WhatsApp, we have uh, tried. Uh, but WhatsApp don't have uh, their own way of advertising because they don't allowing advertisement to be you know uh, sent to uh, unknown people uh, so it's also good luck like, privacy is there uh, facebook we have used facebook ad and also facebook community uh, so we you know have say quantan community or say uh, you know working uh, particular working group we we also be part of their Facebook community and then we advertise the product. Okay. So these are all there. Instagram also my student did. Uh, all is possible. Here uh, given the Facebook uh, on how to promote. You can create, Facebook is the easiest. Uh, just now I say Google, you need to pay a big sum of money. But Facebook you can create for your company and then, you know, invite uh, customers 
uh, just anybody and then grow in the number of uh, you know members in that group uh, they also got facebook community go and find out what is facebook community and also i told you just now facebook ad fb ad they call it which is very interesting uh, uh, all these are possible to advertise by selecting where to advertise uh, demographically uh, rather than to everyone yeah, this is Instagram. Uh, I don't have Instagram of my own, but uh, my student have it. Uh, so she has done for Instagram for Bayaruto Alif. And then uh, Twitter. Uh, also, you can see uh, people uh, use Twitter to promote their product. Hopefully, it ends up in sales. TikTok as well. Uh, TikTok is, uh, I think, China, uh, China origin but it's doing very well huh? people are looking into it you can make videos and post it there so i'm not going to take so much of time uh, looks like the next topic is on business networking um, because uh, quite a long uh, time spent on this uh, lecture itself huh? so i'm going to go very fast but networking is also very important okay? you never know you meet people in an exhibition hall, uh, you meet people in, uh, say, uh, uh, any award uh, ceremonies, or you'll be taking part in an award uh, for your product. Uh, I have won gold medals for this product. Uh, they call iTech uh, in, uh, last year. So uh, you will end up meeting people. You will end up uh, networking. Uh, building your network uh, maybe sometimes could be people uh, helping you out in your business how to uh, improve your business if not your customer so uh, these are uh, important in the business world to always uh, have networking uh, so that's the meaning okay so i've highlighted the fact that it's about uh, getting to know people and building a uh, relationship you don't be you know uh, introvert and uh, uh, not speaking to anyone <laughs> that's the meaning of it i think i have uh, uh, explained uh, just now just a slide before this with the importance of the objective of business networking uh, it is very much uh, mutually uh, beneficial you know uh, uh, you may also give idea to someone and then later that person can help you out. Okay, uh, maybe by uh, telling about your business to their friend or friend of a friend. Huh? Mm, uh, then uh, you get customers. Looks like also been taught here how to network, how to behave, how to act. Huh? So it looks like, you know, uh, you you do not need to know the most uh, you know know everybody just the right people uh, not easy to know who's the right people better to know everybody be nice to everybody be sincere uh, be ethical then they like you better so all these are you know uh, uh, as i said before earlier uh, some of the things are actually uh, common human behavior uh, it's not that uh, we ask you to be somebody else, you are to be human uh, in, uh, uh, you know, networking, okay? I don't need to teach you how to, you know, talk, right? <laughs> so, how to start a conversation. Uh, I, I remember when I was in overseas in a conference, uh, in one night, uh, the conference was five days, and then one night they give uh, dinner, so you have to walk into a hall full of strangers and uh, you know it was tough initially but uh, slowly you make pep talk yeah? you talk about the research that you do uh, then because all the people there are doing the same research so later you realize you start to mingle uh, and then network you uh, then exchange cards uh, business cards and then you come back to your uh, Malaysia, hopefully, they contact you and build a repo. Okay, so uh, uh, I don't have to teach you how to pitch, uh, but later I have a video on pitching. Maybe you can have a look at it in another uh, lecture.
Uh, looks like this one is on email and online connection. Uh, just to be uh, short, uh, uh, you know, accurate, uh, and uh, do not end up being misunderstood. Email uh, written evidences. So um, be very uh, careful what you write there. Okay. Okay, uh, please read more uh, more on the building your relationship uh, by meeting a stranger who then become your network buddies. Uh, this is all being highlighted here. You know more on the habit. Uh, so I guess uh, once you become a businessman, uh, it is a, a normal routine of your life to know people again and again. In any function, uh, here uh, they even go to the extent try to contact one person per day, <laughs> like eating uh, apple per day uh, keeps away the doctor. Uh, but you understand what I'm saying. Um, you can follow all the written steps, uh, known facts, but uh, you know, uh, end of the day, it's all up to you in. Uh, using the system that you are familiar and happy with. You know, more uh, understanding on networking. I'm not going to go in detail about this. Just uh, uh, read on your own. We have uh, finally come to the conclusion. This is a very long lecture in my opinion, but uh, also uh, very, uh, you know, uh, abstract rather than uh, very factual. So uh, I can only say in conclusion, uh, some of these uh, skills in um, uh, entrepreneurial skills tend to be uh, learned over time. Uh, maybe in the beginning you are not uh, capable, but uh, don't give up. Uh, keep uh, sharpening the skills. Some are very hard skill. Therefore, you do need to have uh, some expert uh, exposure or either you learn through uh, books, YouTube, so videos, or whatever means, okay, or you can just hire someone uh, who has that uh, hard skill to help you out, like, you know, keeping the finance, uh, all the uh, accounts and all that, okay. So, uh, and then, uh, of course, uh, networking is something uh, important in entrepreneurship compared to other career, okay? Maybe other career, you have enter, uh, what network, networking to, you know, jump ship. <laughs> you know, from one office, uh, you are, you know, want to better yourself. Huh? They call it batu loncatan. Huh? So you know people for that purpose. But in this case, entrepreneur is all about building business. So with that, I end this uh, lecture. Uh, we move to the next topic.